just gone 10.48 and uh, it's News Talk 106 to 108. Tom, I'm with you till 12 and I'm happy to say we've been joined in the studio by electronic music fan Neve Shaw. Yeah, I'm a big electronic music fan. Like, I, I don't know, I wouldn't, um, I would never kind of define music that way, but, but when you said it, I went, I actually listen to a lot of that. Like, Radiohead is kind of electronic, it is. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's my kind of sound then, because I would listen to Radiohead, Air. Air would be your favourite. Air would be my absolute favourite. Have they driven you to violence? <laughs> The opposite. They make you go asleep. They There's do. such chilling stuff. It's beautiful. Now, Neve, you wouldn't have been yes, listening Tom. to Wear in the 1950s. No, I wouldn't. Tell, tell people what it is you've just done. I emulated an experiment that another lady emulated uh, for an article in the Daily Mail about um, the amount of calories and the fitness regime that you can have if you're at home doing housework of a day. So... I read her article and I went and I did the same things that she did and I counted my calories. I didn't do as well as her, if I'm honest, because she was hardcore, whereas I just went, OK, in today's society, how many calories do you burn when you do these activities? Like this particular lady, she didn't use a washing machine, for instance. She actually hand washed stuff. Now, that to me is ridiculous. Hardcore. Yes, absolutely hardcore. And then she didn't use the vacuum cleaner. She used a carpet sweeper. She may as well have been taking dust with her tongue up off the floor because we had those. Did you have those carpet sweepers? Yeah. They were a joke. There was like I a lottery. I remember it was like getting, a lottery. I remember getting a carpet sweeper. Really? And thinking we had arrived. Really? The duns are just like other people now. We have a carpet sweeper. I just thought they were useless. You may as well just be moving coins around a table as actually picking up dust. It just seemed to kind of move and then come back and move and come back. And then there would be a load of hair getting caught in the brush I of it. that, yeah. Because yeah. we were, you know, the red hair. Yeah, there was a lot, of, a lot of work involved. Completely useless. Which is the whole point. So, yes. Yeah, so, I, I did. I, um... I did what the lady did, but I, I would uh, I would question her right. theory. Um, I was very fascinated. There is a book which tells you how to do this, which, which tells you about yeah. life in the 1950s, 50s. doesn't it? Yes. And some of the interesting things mm. was that life was so busy that you had to kind of plan. You had to plan everything. How hard you worked. Yes. There was not enough hours in the day to do everything. You see, a washing machine kind of revolutionized things for, for you know, for people who, who were at home doing housework and vacuum cleaners and things like that. Because you did spend the day, literally, the second you got up, you were cleaning out the fire. Then you had to get the kids to school. You had to make lunch. Then you'd plan dinner, you'd go shopping in the supermarket, you'd probably walk there and back, you'd walk the kids to school and back, you'd put a wash on. That took hours. Now, you missed one there. There was no supermarket. You That's had to right. go to the individual shops. Shops. That's right. That's right. You had to right. go to the butchers, you had to go to the bakers, you had to go to the milkman, you had to go to this. So then you'd kind of spend it, and then you'd plan your dinner, and you'd do the carpet sweeping for hours on end, you'd dust, you'd rearrange the house, and you'd tidy it up, or whatever it is. And literally, what she said was, in that day, she didn't have time to sit down no. until about nine o'clock at night. Wasn't really allowed to sit down. No, that and was considered like... Mad, mad. lazy, yeah. indolent. What yeah. are you up to? Yeah. So, crazy. Um, I loved this. You had to put aside maybe two or three hours for beds, dusting, sweeping, about two more hours for shopping, about three hours for food and clearing up. And then my favourite bit of this is that you'd have themed days. So you might do the washing on a Monday, 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 the baking on a Wednesday. Crazy Like, it was just non-stop. But, I mean, even... Even from the ma the male point of view as well, you know, like when you lived off the land, the day was non-stop, you know, like whether it was, you know, harvesting or, you know, it was time to slaughter the pig or it was time to make butter or my very, very labour intensive. But so, of course, th you're going to burn talk calories. Talk me through your mad, crazy day that you did. Well, my mad, crazy day was sort of like, I'll do a bit of this and I'll do a bit of that. I got up as I normally do and I decided that I would walk as much as I could that day. So I did. Okay. So I'm, I'm more this week uh, down on Foley Street so I walked there and back so I figured I, I figured that that was uh, 6,000 steps which is Did you measure them? Because she in the article she had some she said device. You, you, yeah, she's a pedometer but it says that 2,000 steps is 95 calories and 2,000 steps is one and a half miles. Okay. No. It doesn't sound like a lot of calories. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No. So 10,000 10, steps is five miles. And that's what she thinks that that was recommended that we should actually do a day. But five miles is a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean? Is. It's hard to actually clock up five yeah. miles a day if you've got a car. So I did do that. And then I decided that I would uh, do a bit of vacuuming. So I did that. I mean, where's my calories? Did you do actual vacuuming? I did, yeah. Oh, so you broke the rules. I know I did. But look, I'm trying to just board. take it from the no. real world. You know, I was trying, I'm just trying to look here now. I've got, I've got my list here of what I actually did after yeah. so it was a busy day but you know it was just literally me just sort of logging what I did as opposed yeah. to doing anything you different. swept, so I swept the, floor, the floor 28, 28 calories, calories. 
then I mopped it because obviously you have to sweep the floor before yeah. you clean it. Mopped it. That's 150. That's good. You get a bit of a sweat going yeah. when you're when you're doing something physical. I vacuumed upstairs for an hour, so it's uh, so 20 minutes is 56 calories. So that was 168. Yeah. Did the ironing. Right. Half an hour is 76.5, so I did 153. Went t- shopping to Tesco. Yeah. Because if you walk around a supermarket for an hour, seemingly you burn 243 calories. Good to know. <laughs> Imagine if you've been walking around the individual shops as you were supposed to. Well. Carry on. <laughs> Came home, made the dinner. Did you make the dinner for your man? I did. I did. Now, it was literally a chicken kev in the oven and a few chips. So you didn't peel potatoes. <laughs> no, I didn't. Peel vegetables. No. Didn't. Put on lamb chops. No, no. Put them on a plate. No, no. Clean up after. No, but I did burn seventy four calories, Tom. Did you? I did. But that's what she says. <laughs> right. I know. watched the Olympics for three hours. I, the- I gave myself to this so much that I sat down and against my will, I watched the Olympics for three hours. The new Shaw coup de gras. She watched the Olympics on the TV for three hours. That's like, what like I do for what this they show. Used to do in the 50s. That's what I do for this show. I did. Oh, I watched God. it for three hours because it's seventy-two calories an hour to watch TV. On her list. Then slept. I slept. <laughs> I did this for you. I slept for th- for eight hours. You've put a calorie count on this. That's what she said. That's what I did. I went away and I said, "How much are all these tasks? How much calories does it take to sleep?" So I burned for you. Yeah. And this show fifteen hundred and eighty-five calories. Right. Now I worked out how many calories I Wait. need a day yeah. for the kind of lifestyle I have, which is moderately active, okay. is 1,800 calories. All right. So I didn't even get to burn 1,800 calories. But my food intake was really low for the you day. You ate like a 800. Bird. I ate 800 calories. You had two coffees, two sausages. Yeah. God, I had a sausage were, were, sandwich. Were you stocking the ark or something? It was two <laughs> by two you had here. Two white breads, two pieces of tuna, two pieces of mayo. Two I had that's a sausage sandwich. Potatoes. I had a tuna sandwich, and then I had a bit of fillet steak with potatoes, and that was. And I had loads of water, and there's no calories in water, so I only burned 800 calories. So I actually burned 700 calories that day. Right now, if you had done this properly, yeah, as the woman in the Daily Mail did. Yeah, how much? You, did she how burn? many color- calories did she burn? She got a couple of thousand, didn't she? Like three thousand, three to four thousand. Now, but here's the thing. Did. You see, I have an issue with this whole article. Yes. Because I think calories. Um, I read this amazing book called uh, Cooking with Fire, Catching Fire, yeah. by this guy, scientist Rangham, and he says that the at water system, which is the whole calorie counting thing, they're missing a vital step in ca- in calorie counting. And the other reason why today, like a lot of people would go, well, if that was true, we'd all be slim as anything like running around taking care of kids and doing housework why isn't it happening because we're eating more processed food nowadays right. and while they say the caloristic yeah. content of the food might be 260 calories they're not taking into account how that food is presented because the if it's cold it takes more energy to eat something cold than it does hot. If it's ground down, right. it takes very little energy to consume it and to burn it, burn it into fat than it does if it's, if it's made of chunks. So a piece of steak, as opposed to a, a mince of steak, right. even though they, want, they would say that the calorie count is the same, it's not. Okay. Because you expend more energy breaking down a piece of steak than you do eating mince. But that said, if you live like a domestic slave... <laughs> From six in the morning when yes. you clean out the grate yeah. and clean it with your bare hands mm. and polish it with your teeth. Yes. And then spend the rest of the day like that. Yes. In in slavery to your yes, family. In slavery washing to your family. nappies yes. by hand. Yeah, I know. Walking to and fro, dropping Licking the Licking the floor off, because you may as well with yeah. that carpet sweeper. Treating your husband like a king. Yes. You will be, before you know where you are, back to the nineteen fifty two average woman vital statistics. Measuring thirty six, twenty four, thirty five. Yeah. Size twelve, weighing around nine stone twelve pounds. Okay. These days, the Miss Average is 11 stone. She is now 38, tw- 34, 34. Yeah, but at least That's she's able to hold a conversation, Tom, because she's not exhausted from all that grind. At least she actually has something else to have going on in her life instead of, like, four walls and dirty floors. Why would you be bothered having a conversation when you're that happy <laughs> looking after your man? Um, she's also be a size 16. And she would live in a society where before, uh, it, it, back in the 1950s, obesity was 1.2% of men and 1.8% of women. Whereas today it's now 63 and 62 percent respectively. I know, but you see, it's all to do with the kind of foods we're eating as well. I still maintain that if 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 we did that every day, I still maintain that the kind of foods we're eating, you can't help but put on weight because of the wrong kind of foods. Yeah, there's too much sugar in them. Card. I, sorry, I don't. And also, that for a if second. I go to a boxing class, can I just say? Because yeah. I go to a boxing class twice a week, and I burn a minimum of 700 calories every time I go. So off I off my 1800 calories. 
I've already lost half of them in one boxing class. So that's an awful lot better than licking dust off a floor with a carpet sweeper. That's I'm sorry. Highly debatable. <laughs> I've never licked dust off a floor with a carpet sweeper, but I'm going to give it a go after the show. <laughs> See how it, it sounds lovely, actually, now that you say it. Um, yeah, but all that, do you know what else amazes me? All that, and they still had big, big families. Yeah. How did they have the strength? I don't know how they did it. Well, I suppose the older brothers and sisters, I think, <laughs> used to have to row in. <laughs> Two weeks, say no. But the carpet was exhausted, going, oh, go on, stop yeah. it, go on, I'm so tired. Yeah, yeah. Could go you blame on, them? Work away. She's I'm thinking exhausted. of she has to plan her Jesus. day for the next day. If it keeps you happy, go on. <laughs> 53106, if you've experienced anything like this oh or can uh, share an insight. Sleep in George Best's bed and this amazing story of an explorer and uh, what attra attracts people to being an explorer. Would you like to be an explorer? Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to go to the Antarctic. If, if before I die, I'm going well, to the I'll Antarctic. Talk to somebody who has after this, Need thanks very much.